so let's discuss the topic today sickle cell syndrome i called it syndrome because it is a group of symptoms consistently occurring together so it is caused by mutation in beta globulin gene that changes the sixth amino acid from glutamic acid to valine so this leads to formation of sickle hemoglobin that is hbs hbs it is alpha 2 beta 2 in sixth position glutamine goes and valine is welcome it can be remembered like that it is easy to remember sixth glutamine goes and valine welcome let's discuss about pathophysiology of sickle cell crisis so arterial oxygen if you see at the box arterial oxygen that is oxygenated hbs is soluble whereas capillary venous that is deoxygenated hbs is polymerized the changes occurring are membrane changes mainly there is influx of calcium and potassium is leaked out this leads to formation of stiff viscous sickle cell the stiff viscous sickle cell gets occluded in capillary venules and cause capillary venule occlusion and further lead to microinfarction ischemic tissue pain ischemic organ malfunction and auto infarction of spleen and this also leads to reduced red cell survival might lead to hemolytic anemia and the symptoms like anemia jaundice gallstones and leg ulcers so this deoxygenated hbs molecules are insoluble and polymerized to form pseudo crystalline structures called as tractoids these tractoids are nothing but the rbcs which become rigid deformed and assume a characteristic sickle shape initially on reoxygenization this process is reversible but uh, uh, with repeated episodes it becomes irreversible so this is mainly about pathophysiology of sickle cell cr crisis coming to the most important slide of my presentation that is crisis in sickle cell syndrome the most common and the most important is infarction or sickling crisis also known as vasoocclusive crisis you can understand by the name itself there is occlusion of the blood vessel not only the rbcs but also granulocytes platelets and mononuclear inflammatory cells and other inflammatory mediators get uh, cause this vasoocclusion and uh, there is intermittent episodes of vaso occlusion in connective tissue and musculoskeletal structures this produce ischemia manifested by acute pain and tenderness and fever tachycardia and anxiety so second crisis is called as aplastic crisis it is temporary suppression of the bone marrow erythropoiesis which may develop due to acute infection of erythro erythroid progenitor cells by parvovirus b19 third crisis is hemolytic crisis it is characterized by episodes of increased sequestration and destruction of red cells and the last and the most important is sequestration crisis of spleen where the spleen gets sequestered that is uh, there is shutdown of the spleen or autosplenectomy occurs in this stage of sequestration crisis of spleen so it's important to remember all these four crises the next thing is various effects of vascular occlusion and hemolysis in sickle cell anemia so uh, this i drew a diagram for easy to remember it is easy to remember uh, with this diagram so there is stroke retinopathy congestive cardiac failure autosplenectomy renal infarcts and papillary necrosis osteomyelitis a vascular necrosis of femur leg ulcers dactylitis jaundice acute chest syndrome so what is acute chest syndrome it is a distinctive manifestation characterized by chest pain tachypnea fever cough and arterial oxygen desaturation coming to the second one that is renal papillary necrosis it is invariably it invariably produce isosthenuria what is isosthenuria it is inability of kidneys to produce either a concentrated or a dilute urine where urine specific gravity is equal to plasma specific gravity that is 1.007 to 1.012 coming to bone and joint ischemia this can lead to aseptic necrosis especially of femoral or humeral heads and unusual susceptibility to osteomyelitis which may be caused by organisms such as salmonella so these are some of the important uh, effects of vascular occlusion of and hemolysis in sickle cell anemia very important to remember this slide so let's talk about the investigations done in uh, sickle cell syndrome it includes blood count peripheral smear sickling test and hemoglobin electrophoresis and there's one more test called as high performance liquid chromatography hplc it is also used in sickle cell syndromes coming to blood count we see low hemoglobin and high retic count and peripheral smear we see characteristic red cell that is sickle cell we can see in this and if there is feature of hyposplenism we can see whole jolly bodies target cells and ovalocytes also in peripheral smear 
sickling test one of the most important test which was done previously sickling test is induced by adding a reducing agent or an oxygen consuming agent like a 2% sodium metabisulfite or sodium dithionate which will increase the sickling and the last test is hemoglobin electrophoresis which also helps us in diagnosis and it's also important to remember the other test that is high performance liquid chromatography coming to the treatment the last slide of this topic sickle cell syndrome so main important thing is like general measures like uh, good nutrition and folic acid supplementation uh, in all patients with hemolysis will play a main role second thing is antibiotic prophylaxis antibiotic prophylaxis uh, should be started at uh, age of 2 2 months can give anything like penicillin or cephalosporin and uh, immunization immunization is done against uh, streptococcus pneumonia neisseria meningitis hemophilus influenza b and hepatitis b virus coming to the important drug in treatment of uh, sickle cell syndrome hydroxyurea is used as therapy for patients with severe symptoms and uh, last thing is bone marrow transplantation it should done in children and adolescents younger than 16 years who have severe complications in them bone marrow transplantation would be of much help so uh, coming to the summarized part of uh, sickle cell syndrome you can see this image which helps uh, you understand everything we can download this image from our instagram page met rewind that's all for today thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe